Hello, hello and welcome everyone in 2017. I cannot believe it's already New Year. Time is flying, isn't it? New Year and new idea that I would love to share with you. And this idea came quite accidentally to me when I was uh, making this watercolor uh, project. Um, this actually page was made, as you can see, on the envelope, an ordinary envelope that was just on my in my studio. I liked the shape of it when I opened it and I thought, yeah, I can work on that. And I was trying my new paints, my watercolor paints, so I wasn't even uh, playing on the watercolor paper but an ordinary paper and I loved the process I enjoyed it but before I did it I took a watercolor paper just to see my colors and I was doing them kind of things the professional watercolor people people who love watercolors they do those swatches I think with color and see how they look like so I followed that idea to see how my palette looks and I did another one which was the the metallic one so it's this and the other one is this set because they were brand new I never used them I just wanted to see how they look like before I start painting and then when I saw those two pages I really really loved it and I was thinking I don't want to throw them away and I'm not really sure what to do with them and then I really thought wow I can put them together and instead of making um, only watercolor theme I thought why not to make a book that will contain a trials, um, an errors, a, a fun play moments, a checking out products. And then I thought, yes, after so many comments of yours, where I could see that plenty of you is buying products, loads products, but you actually are, you are so afraid to use them that you don't even try. And this is where the idea came, a test journal, a trial book for you to at least check your products. If you're afraid to make a project, check it. Make a little journal. Do a journal like this, a book like that, where you can just play around and just starting to let go. Um, that's where idea came. And I thought, wow, this could be it for those who are really afraid of, because there's nothing to be afraid of, but I can understand that the product can be overwhelming. The amount of information out there is huge and we are just really confused and lost in it. So I would love to share with you my, my, my journal today, my test journal, and I would love to encourage you to maybe try it for yourself. I have different products to try, some stamps, uh, some pencils that I wish to see the color and how they look like. So I thought this could be a fun thing to do, a trial, a test journal. I hope you will think it's a good idea. I hope you will find it inspirational and I hope you will make it for yourself because there are so many beautiful things that we we have around and I wish to have them in one place. And uh, this one I made myself. I took some watercolor paper and I, I just bind them together. If you would like me to show you how I did it, I well, I'll absolutely will make a video for you. There's plenty things out there on YouTube. It's not my original idea. Uh, but I have been doing my own journals since the very beginning. Let me show you them. Will I show you them? Um, those are watercolor papers, but my very first ones were actually um, made from envelopes, the small envelopes and the big envelopes. Uh, the small ones were just bind together with the sellotape. Nothing difficult, nothing fancy, but it did the trick and I think that this book will be another trial error idea, error idea for me to just play, test and experiment. And I can also show you how to do this simple book. Um, again, plenty of you may think, oh, this is so simple, but some of you may feel really uh, lost and really wish to see even the very simple project. So it would be in a benefit to for you to let me know if you would like me to show you those books how to make books for yourself uh, and I'll show you my very first uh, journal that I made myself out of big brown envelopes and also I was looking through it and I just thought oh, gosh how my art have changed this is my very first um, face that I drew that I made and then you can see how much things progress. I think they do progress anyway. I hope you can see that as well. And just by, I'll show you one by one when they were just made. And this was my first and the next, 
faces uh, within months that I was trying to do and how I feel better or different or improved I was and I really enjoyed the process and you can see how things change and I think this is my favorite and have a look at those two <laughs> how different it is. This is more like a cartoonist looking but really like the proportions and everything is not really great but you know something it's mine and I cherish it and I'm so happy that I can look back. She's have those very um, tinted eyes whatever and this is more natural looking. It's still for many it's very cartoonist but you can see the progress and it's amazing to keep journals to see the progress. So to skip that I'll just quickly go through. Um, those were trials as well. Pages that I loved doing and they were my uh, I, I as you can see my journal was it's like a really technically it's a junk journal you can say because we had some uh, watercolor uh, we had some envelopes some small a uh, paper white paper and I really truly loved making those projects and they were at least two years ago I should date them because I never do but I should I suppose and there's plenty pages that I didn't that I didn't um, finish. <laughs> I love going back and looking at those. Uh, I really do. I really do love that. And then uh, let me uh, let me move on to a page where where is my very first video tutorial. This one, Freedom. This was my first ever video I did. The quality is shocking of that video. But I still adore this project. I really like, I'm not sure if I can show you the I can, I'll try. Oh yeah, there we go. I really love this piece and I don't think that the video or the quality of the photos give the justice of the, of how pretty it is. Well, in my eyes it is pretty. I truly love it and it's my history. This is my first video tutorial ever that I did and it was just, uh, just amazing to go back to that. So basically, uh, as you can see, I haven't started with buying journals myself. I was just uh, playing around with envelopes and using big envelopes to uh, just bind them together. And I've learned so much in the past uh, years and months. And it's so amazing to go back and to have a look at those. So yes, guys, I hope that the idea of a test journal would be something for you uh, to to enjoy and I would love you to find time and to give it a try um, so I'll show you maybe what else I would put in this journal mm, I have those pretty watercolor paper uh, watercolor uh, pencils I never use them never I got them and I always wanted to have them so it's I think my test journal it's a great idea to have a look and I you know I know that plenty of people is doing like separate books for watercolors separate books for testing stamps and all but I wanted my book to be more of that I wanted this to be an error a trial you don't have to finish pages, not necessarily, of course not, but it would be nice to just um, play around and try to make this enjoyable process and because so many is concentrating on how pretty are those, look. <laughs> so many is concentrating on finished projects that you forget about, uh, that you can just simply enjoy as it is, you know, you can just enjoy the process of um, of just even trying the the product and letting go and I'm sure once you start it you will feel more confident you will gain the confidence trust me it will be like that because uh, we are starting somewhere always and we not too sure where to start or we just looking at other people and we are so um, overwhelmed and we losing our confidence because we always looking at others and I'm thinking that this test journal it's fabulous idea not only for beginners but for professionals who are tired of their commitments and they wish to just have fun and play and this could be an amazing uh, answer for you to just have fun and play with no uh, really thoughts and with just you know having a look at your 
uh, products and especially I've gained so many since a uh, UK trip and the box is piling up because I promised I will make a video t with a haul but it's just no time so I then <laughs> then again it's just all these ideas are coming accidentally to me and I truly truly love them and enjoy them look you can just test it and see how things are without really paying much of attention and just you know maybe the ideas oh my phone I'm very sorry two seconds <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry it was my friend uh, ringing me so yes uh, going back to what I was just saying it just I think uh, it, an idea of testing products within one book and having a play and having you know look not being very much precise or professional you don't have to show this book to anyone but I'm pretty sure I will be doing that I will be showing my book <clears throat> because the like the colors are so gorgeous and it's nice to put them together and make a lovely photo and things like that you know just enjoy the art in a different way uh, and trust me you can my battery died I'm not sure where I stopped uh, I do feel that many of us is overthinking you know it's overthinking and we just we are losing the joy and we're so afraid of what others will say that we just stopped creating we just stopped doing things we just look at our products on our studios in our studios and we just we just doing m not much so I hope to I hope to talk to you <laughs> talk to you and I really would love you to um, trust me and to give it a shot and most de most definitely I would love you to tell me if uh, you wish me to show you how to make books like that and I would love to to do it for you um, this is another set I got um, Royal Lan oh, Lang no, but something something I haven't tried them as you can see I didn't open them uh, I love the box. Oh, another pretty set. Oh, wow. Nice one. Nice one. Still life drawing set, including six color pencils, sticks, graphite pencil, lead sticks. Anyway, I can just have a play with them and see what they are. Just to just to see, those are not watercolor pencils, but I may as well add color and see what happens. <laughs> and that's where the test comes in. They're not watercolors, but what if I will add color? Why not? Why not? I keep on telling you, why not? Probably it's not going to work, but I'll give it a try. No, <laughs> it's not working. That's okay. Well, it's, it didn't say it's watercolor. So, you see, even now for yourself to see the difference between watercolor pr pencils that they do react with water and then we have non-watercolor pencils. Nothing happens. Nothing. I'm adding more water. No movement. So, I think the idea of the testing could be really handy. <clears throat> Let me try one of those. I have four different sets of new, um, of new watercolors from Prima the confections. Let's try, let's see. I have never tried them before. <clears throat> so I'm very excited and I'm really... Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, little, little things. So pity to open those little packaging because it's so beautiful. So beautifully packed and so difficult to open. <laughs> oh no, do I have to rip it? I do. Oh, such a pity. Those are gorgeous, isn't it? Anyway, let's let's open them all. I have them opened right here and let's try. Let's see. Let's see what will happen when we add some water on our page. I'm making some circles just <clears throat> just for fun, just to see what will happen. Are oh, they moving? They are moving. Oh, nice one. Nice. Let's make another one. Another circle. And let's just have fun. And let's just try. Hmm. 
and this is um, this is the exactly thing that I wish you to maybe see the idea of trying the idea of start starting to play starting to play with your tools and let go don't be afraid don't expect too much from yourself don't put yourself under pressure that you have to create outstanding works no you really don't have to it's not about this it's about the joy of creating and it's about having um, pushing ourselves to to start because we are so afraid to start aren't we I would love to see your test journals I would love to see oh my message sorry I would love to see if the test journal will work for for you I would love to know and definitely if any of you will do something like that if any of you felt inspired to just grab your tools straight away and just do it make sure to put I'm sorry for that my phone I should turn it off uh, make sure you put Maremi small art um, hashtag or Maremi test journal hashtag on your Instagram or your Facebook so I'll know and I can find you I will write that down for you on the screen so you can have a look Maremi small art or Maremi test journal and others can see it too I would love to see your journals I would love to see your ideas of tests and what sort of products you tested wouldn't that be fun I think it would be absolutely awesome fun and I'm not expert here you know that I always says to you that those things are new to me as well and I just love sharing with you my ideas and hoping that some of those will stay with you and that you will just feel inspired and you just will try it and I'm, I'm not expert I'm one of you I'm one of you so I hope you will you will be inspired and I hope you will you will share your ideas with me I would love that I would love that. What do you think about those, cir those, those circles? Because I just adore them. Like, I mean, wow. <laughs> so many different things can happen, isn't it? And you can just play around with the city circle. And you don't have to finish the project. You don't have to finish your page. You don't have to worry about the finished, the finished look of this. You, all you have to worry is... Did I have fun? And if you did, that's the main thing. I'm gonna dry that because I can't really move. My circles are nearly dry. Uh, I'm gonna wipe that access with tissue, which again is giving you different, different looks. And like, come on, you can't go wrong with that. I love those circles, absolutely love them. And I think it's an idea for maybe use it in the future project. Even now, in the trial journal, in the test journal, if you feel like you wish to just finish off and if you wish to maybe add something and finish off the circle and make a flower maybe, you can do that you know nothing will stop you from that you the the test journal idea is for testing the products not necessarily making projects but if you feel like oh I wish to do it oh, absolutely go for it and do it and maybe um, the inspiration will come because I do think that when we test the project products the inspiration is coming to us big time big time you ask me recently on the group on Maremi's creative cafe the group that we run together you ask me some recently uh, what inspires me and I told uh, as well that one of one of my answers was products they do inspire me a lot and that is true testing out products can inspire us of course there's plenty other things that inspires me but certainly new products it's nice to open a package but it's also nice to use it guys and I encourage you to to do so and to to not be afraid you know to maybe play around and 
see what else could, can be done and things like that and you, as I said you don't have to worry about finishing off the project because it's not about project but even trials can be pretty isn't it even trials can be can be absolutely stunning and I I'm I'm, I hope, I only hope that you you will fall in love with my idea. I, I only hope that you will feel uh, what I think and I I wish to hear from you. I would love to hear from you for sure and if you make a, a, a journal like that, a, a test journal, please tag me so I can see it. I would love to see, uh, I would love to see your makes and hear from you and all of that. I'm actually afraid to uh, destroy it now so you see I shouldn't even say that because it's a trial it's a test one I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna see what we can do with it <laughs> so yes guys I really uh, wish the 2017 be a year of a change for you uh, a year of letting go and not being afraid following your dreams and also do things that you that you were just only thinking of doing just go for it just do it I promise you it will be all good I promise you that what else we can add so it would look nice hmm or not nice <laughs> maybe orange would work will it with brown the orange could be nice or maybe other colors too you see, I'm not a watercolor. It's my second time I'm really, truly playing with watercolor. So, I'm like you. I'm a newbie here. And I'm only testing out. And I'm only seeing whether I like it or not. Whether it's good or bad. And this is when I thought, oh my, you could actually love this as much as I love it. And I hope you, you will understand what I mean by by this book and if you wish me to show you the book making thing the journal making things I'll show you I'll make a video for you just you have to let me know so I'll know whether it's something you looking forward to or there's no need for for it I think I used the same color second time but that's okay no it's actually not I think it's a different color but anyway, we have nearly a flower that it's <laughs> looking fun and funky. And did I use this color? I'm not even sure. Oh, very dark. Sure, when someone is learning, oh, it's purple actually. It doesn't even look purple until until I use some water. So you see, this is the great idea. You can just, oops, you can just try it and fix things and not be worried that your flower or whatever you do is perfect because it's for you to try and by trying and creating small little things we learn there's no other way to learn you can't learn by looking at the YouTube videos you you won't, you have to <laughs> try it for yourself and you have to make mistakes and you have to uh, just just do it <laughs> so yes that's that's about it I think I will be wrapping up at that will I? Oops, that's kind of the same color. I don't like that. Well, I do, but I think it'd be nice to maybe add. What if I add green to it and change the color a little bit? Where's my paper? I can add a little bit more and just. What will happen then? Oh, I love it! I love it how delicate it is and now if you wish to again finish off adding some what about what about if we add where's my where's my drawing tool uh, this is me I keep on putting my pens, pencils aside and then I forget where they are okay I have some permanent markers so you know you can decide that oh I would love to finish off and finish off and make your flower being finished and you can still have the circles to finish another time or don't finish at all just leave it as it is because they are very pretty as they are so yes guys this is uh, this is the idea that I came up with I'm not sure if it's any original to me it is because I haven't been really uh, I didn't see 
them kind of things like a testing pages uh, so test journal that's that's what I'm thinking test journal that could be a fun thing to play together oh actually I should mention the cafe guys there's over 2,000 people nearly two and a half thousand people in the cafe the cafe is growing mad and it's amazing and it's just absolutely absolutely fabulous place to be and I encourage you to to come in and just say hello join send a request for the cafe the people that sharing their passion there is just such a vibe and I should thank you guys for being part of the cafe because it's amazing and I hope to see test journal pages in the cafe to share it, to be shared it would be nice to see cafe filled with test pages of the products that you testing wouldn't that be fun I think it would be just amazing fun now I'm doodling guys talking to you completely I don't even think what I'm doing because because you know what it's just fun that I don't have to think of what's gonna be next I just love it as it is I may just walk away from that leave it and that's fine too and move on to another page so this is it guys and uh, if I wish to maybe try a different, I have some paints, those are imagination crafts, those are UK paints, I got them from Helen, from my great friend from uh, Scotland, I was there visiting her shop, and I got those just to trial, just to see, and you know something, I'm gonna do it, because I'm so tempted, as you can see they're still closed, it means I haven't tried them, uh, which is so bad, because I have them for weeks now, oops, how to open that? <laughs> that's quite tough now to open what if I just stick my brush in oh that's okay that could be it yeah and then the second journal cake can come in uh, handy which is a completely completely um, I'm gonna clean off my things on this uh, particular on this particular <laughs> page and just to have it just to have it like this and maybe finish off later on so let's try this gorgeous paint I can already see how gorgeous those are a beautiful metallics absolutely stunning can you see wow I'm quite impressed with the product I have to say I believe that this needs two coats or so I wouldn't be surprised if it needs two coats because it is very mm, very trans it's not very but it is transparent enough Ugh, come on I don't have any sharp anything sharp do I I do actually I have this oh there we go that's better and I'm gonna <laughs> clean off again here make a mess but you know then the pages can be just amazing with it so don't be afraid to just do it like that I'm gonna I will use bigger brush I hope I'm not boring you with this chit chats today because I haven't really I haven't really planned much of that I was so excited to share the idea of test journal with you so excited and uh, that I didn't even think what I'd be talking to oh my god this color is sensational <gasps> oh, Jeannie Mac I didn't even mix anything it's just gorgeous as it is oh my I absolutely love that I'm gonna show you this wow it is gorgeous and the plummy color dirty pink I love dirty pinks can you see it's stunning let me read you out loud in case there are UK people wishing to know what's that it's imagination crafts it's metallic paint dried rose this one is mint and it says what does it say metallic paint is high quality water based paint for indoor and outdoor craft use decorative painting finely ground metal flakes flakes na, na, na. best coverage paint adding metallic accents to most projects paint at least twice hi you see let's see you see you see <laughs> let's paint the second coat of the blue one of the minty one and see oh yes I see now it is even nicer now that is right but the pink one I love the first coat even it's gorgeous very nice very delicate will I open the white one no I won't I look it's the 
pearl, it must be pretty. I leave it as it is. And I'll just close that. <clears throat> also, do you know, small things like that I, that I wanted to test. I got those three cheap pearl, 3D pearl paints. You know, you can just go and see how they are, how they will act and stuff like that. Oh, how the product react and, you know, things like this that you can just learn and explore without worrying and you can always go back to your test journal and you can always try and see with other products and so on and so on. I think it's a fab idea and I would love you to take part in it and have a book like this, have a journal like that. Uh, so all of us can create together and share our tests and show the mistakes or the happy accidents. I love them, don't you? Because I absolutely do that, do love that. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap up at that. Uh, I, I truly love, absolutely love and adore my test book, my test journal. So if any of you wish me to show you more, definitely uh, feel free to leave comment below. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you didn't, make sure you put your thumbs down. I, I, I don't mind them either if you don't like it. And also do subscribe to my channel. And also uh, I heard recently that people don't get notification about my new videos even though they subscribed you may just go into that subscribe button on my youtube channel and there's a little bell you may just click and unclick it sometimes it helps uh, i have a friend on my channel who's uh, who was leaving the comments about that situation that she is watching every single video yet she has to look for them herself and there's no notification so what she did is she unscribed unsubscribed and she subscribed back again and she Said since then there was no problems so you may try and see the bell little button next to subscribe uh, button so guys thank you so much for watching I hope this video is not gonna be so long because uh, they are usually long recently isn't it I hope you enjoyed it I hope you will agree with this fun game and I hope to see your uh, test journals I'm delighted I will be sharing more pages definitely on my Instagram check out my Instagram because all those pages and things will be shared there for sure I love you loads thank you so much for your time for your comments likes and shares and everything and your massive support all the links to cafe Instagram and other places are below the video so open box a description box for more and once again those who are in the cafe thank you so so much guys I love you a lot and I cannot be happier for having you around there and for sharing uh, for sharing so much of your projects and ideas for your love and care and for the fact that you respect each other so much and that you're helpful and loving and it just my heart is melting because I'm so proud I and I'm privileged that I have this chance to open the cafe for you so I'm 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 looking forward to your your test journals. Uh, thank you so much and I'll touch you very soon. Bye!